I have family that was in the military, but none of them ever tried or went into special operations. I wanted to be the first generations of my family and encourage people after me and my family to go into special operations. In basic, my drill sergeants told me about RAS falling into AIT and I had more privileges. I did more research into what RAS was. I volunteered as soon as I could. What piqued to my interest in regiment was the culture of accountability. You have to consistently and constantly earn your spot in the regiment from private to command sergeant major or battalion commander. My name is Private First Class Barr. I graduated RAS one month ago and it all started in one place. I came through for your ass. A lot of it was standing on the rocks and ensuring that candidates were administratively ready to go to R1. Um, now, it's become a much more comprehensive program. Utilizing the six weeks in between each individual R1 class up, we utilize that to evaluate and prepare candidates to attend and pass RASP1. During that time, we will conduct more team events where candidates have to work in an environment that is deliberately designed to challenge them, both individually and as a team. We also prepare the candidates intellectually. These will include land navigation classes, rucksack packing classes. All of the things we do here are to prepare candidates for what is about to be RAS 1, Phase 1. Phase one is a relentless onslaught of demanding challenges that test a soldier's physical and mental strength under extreme conditions. During RASP, we introduced them to SOC P, the Special Operations Combatives Program. We know that every candidate has not been engaged in hand to hand combat, and SOC P provides them with the tools necessary to be successful in a CQB environment. The range of first responder is a point of instruction that the candidates get. It's the assessment of the candidate's ability to quickly stabilize and retrieve a casualty. It is the last point of instruction leading up to the culminating event, which is their most challenging week within the course. And for those that are remaining, they have one final task. If they complete it, they pass on to phase two. Phase 2 is a second phase of RAS 1 where 
after we've tested their physical assessment in phase one, we now start to introduce them to different skills and really start to test their mental capabilities. The first thing that they're introduced to in phase two is a marksmanship program. For a lot of these candidates, the first time they have ever held a pistol. So we really hone in on the pistol skills as well as touch on basic rifle marksmanship and even more advanced techniques that they're going to need to know to become a ranger. Also in phase two, we introduce them to a couple of skills that increases the lethality as well as the ability on the battlefield. And lastly, before graduation, we bring them into the shoot house. The shoot house is a culminating event between phase one and phase two, specifically in the combatives program. But not only are we testing the combatives capabilities, we also want to see the roof clearing capabilities, the weapons manipulations, and to see if they have the aggression that it takes to become a ranger.